All right, let's begin. Um, I know many of you, and incidentally, I only have a window of about 15 minutes to do this. So I'm going to, you know, it's going to be in and out. Okay, I'm going to do this 15 minutes and boom, I'm going to be gone. Here it is. Guys, I've got some advice for our former president. And I'll be honest with you, I'm a little disappointed, to be very frank. This is my advice to former President Lungu. I don't like that President Lungu now is sort of hanging out with Chilifiate Ali. First of all, it was bad enough. Do you know where, do you know when I noticed the cracks? Is when President Lungu quoted Chilifiate Ali. When President Lungu made reference to Boris Johnson, remember, you know, the when the journalists and the, the members of the Patriotic Front, they went to offer solidarity to the former First Lady and the former President. President Lungu, when addressing that crowd of PF members, you remember he, he mentioned Boris Johnson. He said that there are certain leaders that lied, them, that, that lied their way to number 10 Downing Street. Uh, 10 Downing Street, as you know, is the official residence and executive office of the Prime Minister of Great Britain. Well, President Lungu made reference to Boris Johnson and said there are certain people that lied them, they, they lied their way to 10 Downing Street. The implication there was that our Zambian president did the same. That quote was a direct quote from Chilofiate Ali. And to hear a former head of state, a former president of these amazing provinces of Zambia, to hear a former head of state quote someone like Chilufia Tayali, that's when you know something is wrong. Something is desperately wrong. And my advice to the head of state is, look, you're, you're big time. You've got no time to be hobnobbing with the likes of that guy. If 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 all of a sudden Tayali now is is your bedfellow, Mr. President, that's a bad thing. I mean, that's a bad thing. That you you're, you're scraping the bottom the bottom of the barrel. Are you familiar with that term? You're scraping the bottom of the barrel. Your barrel is, is so empty that you're, 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 you're scraping the bottom of the barrel. You're, you're getting the, the, the tiny little remnants that are left at the bottom of the barrel. And when you do that, th that is a sign of desperation. Antonio Mourinho Mwanza, could you please tell the former president to stay the hell away from Chilifiate Ali? Could you do that? Is that too much to ask? We don't want the former head of state to be hanging out with him. Goodness. Come on. I mean, I've heard of desperation, but that's ridiculous. Come on. Let's 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 circle the wagons on this thing. Okay? Now now the other thing that I I want to say, and I know this is this is something I think that former presidents struggle with. President, uh, the, the late President Kaunda struggled with this when we voted him out uh, back in the, the in 1991. A short time after he left, uh, our former president had it in his mind that he could bounce back and you nip, made a, a, a mad dash for, for State House. President, late President Kaunda felt, in his wisdom, he felt that he he could po possibly bounce back, but it was not to he was not meant to be so because the Zambian people had moved on. So every I feel that most Zambian presidents struggle with this, especially presidents that have lost power. In the same vein, by the same token, here it is: we have now former President Lungu, who made it abundantly clear that he was he was going to retire from active politics that day when he was addressing that group of supporters, PF supporters, he made reference to the fact that he was he was still in active politics. Now, by his own admission, he said he was in active politics. 
because he said that, you know, here it is, uh, the current administration are trying or they are attempting to impede his ability to, to, to be in active politics. Jose Mourinho, I'm uh, sorry, um, Antonio Mwanza is on record. He's, he, the other day he was on a radio show and he said, no, President Lungu is not in active politics. So here it is, the president is saying one thing, and my dear friend, Antonio Mourinho, Wanza is saying a completely different thing. My advice, my admonition, my caution to the former president is this. Sir, you've had your rodeo. You need to step aside. You need to make sure that the PF convention moves ahead. And we all know you, sir, are the only one that can fund a, a, a PF convention. None of those bottom feeders that surround you can, can, can manage that, okay? None of those jokers that surround you can manage that. There is not a single person in the PF that is going to take their, their hard stolen money to fund a PF convention. Now notice I didn't say their hard earned money no, no, I said they're hard stolen money. Not a, there is not a single solitary member of the patriotic front that is willing to part with their hard stolen money and invest it in a convention. It's just not going to happen. Are you hearing that? So my, my advice, truly speaking, is that President Lungo needs to wake up smell the coffee and realize that he is no longer the president and that's the that's the circle of life that's how it works nay that's how democracy works you yourself and i and i i love quoting this i love quoting this because i remember first time i heard this and and you've heard me say this several times many of you have heard me quote this president lungo said something back in 2021. I know this because I was there. I was, the, the PF hired me to cover uh, a convention, a, 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 a rally over there at the uh, Mulungushi Conference Center. One of the things that President Lungu said was that, yes, uh, 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 and I quote, he said, development has no destination. So every president does his part. You do your bit, as they say in England. You do your bit. When you're done, you move over. Somebody else takes over. So far be it from anyone to suggest that President Lungu and President Lungu alone is the bastion of knowledge in the PF, is the bastion of success, is the bastion of winning. No. President Lungu had his time. It's, it's now time for someone else. Move over and select somebody within your party that can carry the baton. And you guys have so many people. There's Miles Sampa. There's uh I don't mean to sound coy. I really don't know his name. The man with the, the glasses. There's him. There's Vincent Mwale. There's There's Doris Celia. There's My point is, I'm sure you can find somebody in here. Goodness. Come on. Give me a break. Okay? And, and uh, let, let's, let's leave it at that. Alright, that's all right for you today, lovely viewers. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you, lovely viewers. Once again, I go by the name of Mutatim Pondum. I love you. Peace. I gotta go.